Now to the latest on Chris Corley's arrest. Corley represents a large part of Aiken County in the South Carolina State House. Monday night, he was arrested and charged with felony domestic violence and pointing a gun at a person. News Channel 6's N. Maxwell has more. And so News Channel 6 has obtained the audio recordings of the two 911 calls made that night that resulted in Corley's arrest. But before we play parts of those 911 recordings, we want you to know that it may be disturbing for some viewers. The night after Christmas, ending in violence and calls to 911 for the family of a South Carolina lawmaker. South Carolina State House Representative Chris Corley's wife says she and her husband got in a verbal argument when she said he was caught cheating. But then she tells deputies it got physical. She says he punched her in the face and only stopped when he saw blood and heard their children screaming. While in front of them, she says he also threatened to kill her. According to warrants, one of their children is just eight years old. She says he then got a gun out of a car, threatened to kill himself, and went into the bedroom. Soon after, she says she ran to a family member's house across the street. What's going on there? Uh, there's a man threatening to kill himself. But deputies were already on the way. I had a caller uh, sounded like, like children screaming for, for, for help and, and begging for their father to stop. Those calls resulted in Chris Corley's arrest. He now faces up to 15 years behind bars. Data shows one in three U.S. women will be victims of domestic abuse in their life. If Corley is indicted on either felony, South Carolina law requires he be suspended from the house. Corley is out on bond right now, and the judge has ordered that he have no contact with the victim and that he stay away from domestic abuse shelters. He is also prohibited from having any guns. We did reach out to Corley for a comment today, but our calls went unanswered and unreturned. Mike. 